This is a review for Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. Deluxe Class, no, not Void Deluxe Class, Voyager Class Optimus Primal. The reason why I say I thought it was a deluxe for a second is because he's pretty much almost a deluxe size, but who cares, anyways. <laughs> so, this is Monkey. Yes, Glory of the Monkey. There's obviously some kibble at the back. There's, um, Technically, you could say I mistransformed this, but it's. I think it looks way better than its original alt mode. To me, the alt mode doesn't matter that much because well, it's pretty much Optimus Prime mode, just like with a new head. If the, his shoulders are just down, or if his chest is just flipped over, that's pretty much it. So, I'm not going to go through much, but you can put the guns out in the monkey mode. I'm not going to do that because I don't see the point to doing it. But yeah. Monkey, you can you can see right there that if you put the head up, it's pretty hollow up. But I think that's mostly because of transformation. He has elbow joints. He has elbow joints. Can move can move his arm out. If that once he moved to the side, you see that. So uh, wrist swivel. Hands open, race swivel, legs move up, weird, and ankle pivot. So, for comparison, here he is with Barney, a dinosaur that doesn't love you, nor does he love me. Oh, okay, the Barney is taking up the whole space. But yeah, here's Megatron and Primal. I think they look great together. Looks pretty cool. Let me just put that to the side. Oh, come on. Okay. Here he is with... Let's see. Huh. Alright, here he is with Cheetor. Oh, kitty cat wants to go sleep. Here he is with Cheetor. That's it for robot mode, but I have two figures to show in alt mode. No, it's three. So for transformation, pretty simple. Nothing, nothing too hard. It's not even hard. I think it's pretty easy. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side and let's begin. So first thing to do is hook these up. It's pretty tricky. When you first buy the figure, if it might feel like you're gonna break it. All right. Oh. Move his butt flap up. Swivel his waist around. Put his feet down. Then do the pose where he's like, it's like he's leaning there. Like use the butterfly joints. And you're gonna want to push the head back. Then you're gonna flip this out. So you can see there's his chest. And then pull this out. And then what I like to do is get the guns out. You don't have to get the guns out for robot mode. But I like to have the guns out. <laughs> so I do this. I move to the side. And if that it makes the job easier because these guns are hard to get out. So I'm put it, pull it out. Turn this back around. Put the head up. Turn it around. Put it down. Then rotate it back. Put the Push the head back. Tab it into place. There's a little tab right there. Right there. You see? Right, there you go. Now if they can move the butt flap up, but I like to keep it down. Like that, there you go. There's Optimus Primal in his robot mode. And pretty good. It looks just like the masterpiece, just with like a little bit more detail. Honestly, I don't know. If it's, I, th I feel like a lot of people agree with this, with saying many masterpieces. Honestly, I think what Hasbro's doing right now is working, so keep it up, Hasbro. Yeah. Really nice design. You can see, it's this cool chest. Here's the head. It's dark blue with white, silver here, and that red for the eyes. 
you have the nice white and red paint here, here, blue paint, silver. Tell me that is not Sid. That has to be Sid from the movie, from the Ice Age movie. <laughs> here you have pretty cool. I like how they, they incorporated this. Like, the piston moves with the feet. So that's pretty cool. One thing I... I don't care about this, but I feel like someone's going to complain is careful with rubbing this because it might scratch your paint. Luckily, it hasn't really scratched mine completely, but it might scratch yours if you're not careful. Yeah, his legs are pretty tight. I like that. One thing this likes to untap a lot, it's not the knee joint, but this likes to untap a lot. I don't, again, I don't really care, but other people might complain. One thing he does have is you can you can see this little square thing it cuts the scope and you push that up and it reveals his guns which is accurate to the show they didn't have to do this but they did which i appreciate so flip this up and then there you have his guns out you have his fingernails with his hand, and he comes with his two swords. It's one, and it's two. So there you have his guns and his swords, and this is um, blast effect compatible. The the guns and the guns here are blast effect compatible. You can also store the gun in the back. I mean, the swords on the back. Look, there's a little tab and there's a slot right there it's got it's have it in place sorry it's like dark so I can't really see it okay there you go yeah you can store both weapons after for the guns just to put them back you just push them down and there you go. For comparison, here he is with Core Class Rat Trap. Here he is with Voyager Class Dinobot. I think this scales really well. I think all the scales for the New Kingdom figures are really well. And then here he is with his descendant, or Ancestor Optimus Prime. She's basically a Voyager with a few accessories and I guess nice engineering and stuff. Gimmicks. Whatever. So, yeah, really nice figure. Definitely recommend him. And if you see him, pick him up. So, yeah, that's my review for Voyager Class Optimus Primal. Until next time. See ya.